Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Daily Dose of Brood War episode. We've got a game from the latter here from 2023. It's going to be Ursadon, aka Hero, down here in the bottom right, versus his opponent, just a random barcode Protoss. We don't know which barcode this is since it's been deleted, um, but uh, it could be anybody. Could be Bisu. It could be, you know, we just we just don't know who it is. A lot of players have barcode accounts that they mess around on. These guys aren't communicating in the early games, so nothing to go off of. And um, we're gonna get into this one on Nemesis. Just I haven't really been giving Hero that much love recently on the channel. He's only got about two videos. Uh, from the ladder battle series, so you know, he's a great player, and I'm struggling with the ZVP right now. So I'm gonna take a look at this game and you know, get an idea of how he's approaching it, how he's approaching this map as well. Uh, Nemesis is a difficult map; it's got a lot of quirks, and he's gonna come back here. Oh, he's not gonna get the hatchery. This is so annoying right now. This is so annoying. I hate this so much. Oh, come on. Come on. Ugh, of course. Of course. Just going to drop the hatchery right beside. Interesting choice. I think I would have gone over here, but I don't know. I guess he's going to drop that hatch. He's probably drop a second hatch right here. We've got a pylon still blocking. Three uh, sets of lings are heading across the map right now. And I just heard the pylon get cancelled there. Two zealots and two probes are present. It's definitely enough to handle these six lings, but maybe he can slip by with the lings. If this uh, Protoss player is a little bit... Uh, sloppy here with the defense. He's losing quite a bit of health on this gateway, but the third zealot is about to pop out. And three zealots is where... You really don't have to worry anymore about these six lings. Um, you still have to worry about them slipping by, but you can send one ling one zealot to attack this, and the other two can block. Um, and if they engage on the zealot, then the other two can come and help, and it's it's pretty straightforward. I'll hold from there, but it looks like Hero just going to continue to drone up here. He's kept five lings alive. Actually, all six lings are alive. That other ling going to be watching for the move out here and he's gonna catch this move out for zealots coming across the map not enough links just yet but he's gonna add on a couple more pairs here should be able to defend this no problem nice catch on this zealot at the back of the pack the rest are gonna come across the map here maybe he can kill this gateway actually the gateway is pretty low he's gonna try and maybe just run in the main nope going after the gateway here gonna get a probe as well unfortunately zealot does pop out in time Oh, great surround here, though. Catching that Zealot into the corner may end up killing this, this gateway. It's getting really, really close. 100 HP here. 74. Looks like he backed away. Losing too many links to the probes. Unfortunate stuff for Hero. He's going to come back for some more. Can he actually kill it before the Zealot pops out? No! It pops out and saves. And it saves the gateway. Oh, that's so frustrating. Hero, he's going to send another four lings across the map just to finish up that stupid gateway off. Really annoying stuff. Going to come over here around the side of these zealots. Try to get a full surround. It's a pretty good surround. And he will end up killing off all of these zealots. So not bad. We don't have the zealots hiding behind the mineral patches or anything like that. And now that they've all been cleaned, these lings are not very useful. Not gonna be able to do too much. Finally, he got the, he got it, he got it, he got it. Good job, good job. Well done, hero. Picking off that gateway. A thorn in his side has been removed. Two gate, two cannons are here though. Cause he saw the number of links that were coming out. He's like, okay, we gotta get a lot of cannons here. We gotta get at least two up and running, but we're gonna start breaking through these eggs. It takes a long time. But he's going to start breaking through right now. Do we have a Hydra's Den? No, Spire is on the way here for Hero. 
I was thinking maybe he was going to break through this egg and then start on these eggs here and bring up the Hydras to finish it off. Looks like our Borkod Protoss going to put down a pylon here or is he going to go for a scout? Yeah, he's going to scout here in the center right. We still don't have a third base for here, but sending out a drone. Maybe thinking about taking this base right here, which is definitely in Hero's style of play. He likes to build at another natural and set up a defensive position. That way he can grab the fourth base really nice and quick and get into like late game um, hive play. There we go. Didn't actually get to scout the spire. So good blocking on that information. We've got the Corsair coming across the map here. Spire is about to finish. So no overlord should end up going down. We've got quite a good number of lings. And actually the drone count is comparable here. 30 to 35. Really not the worst position for hero. Although he did, you know... For, get forced to make a lot of lings. Uh, he didn't lose any drones. And he overwhelmed the zealots. He killed them all off. So now he's got map control. And he's got... Uh, um, a reasonable number of drones. Yeah. He's, he's going to be able to saturate these bases. Pumping out a whole lot. He's even going for flyer carapace here. So we're going to get uh, that for his scourge. Makes him a little bit harder to pick off. Um, and he could do some sort of Orgazer gamer play as well. He could go for that. It's not out of the question here. Ooh. Flying through. He's going to look for a kill on a course there. Not going to find it. But um, he's scouting everything out. He sees the timing on the Templar archives. So he knows, he knows everything here right now. He's going to start adding on creep colonies. Not the best positioning here, but don't have the second hatch out in the front. So what are you going to do? But he's going to start to really like sunken up these areas. This is this is so hero right here. This is actual hero. With all the sunken colonies being put down, we can put an egg. We can get the egg to get in the middle here. If an egg or if a larva pops out at the bottom, you can shuffle it over and then make an egg. It's a little bit hard to do, but you can clog this area up. And then we're going to go into Muta, I think. Uh, most likely Muta with the Carapace finishing up and this number of sunken colonies. Actually, he might skip Muta altogether. Uh, just because we've gone into four bases, he might just go pure Hydra and Ling. Like mass, mass Ling. Um... Looks like a bunch of zealots going to come in here. Try to dump on top of these. Uh, only one zealot is attacking the sunken colony right now. So that's not the best. A lot of links going to come in from the rear as well. Ca catch some of these zealots on the retreat path. And pushes away the Corsairs critically. Getting rid of those Corsairs. Pushing them back. Very, very important. Good number of drones here now. 45 as he transfers more over towards this bottom left. More hatches coming up. Hero really getting into his macro stride right now. Going to dive on top of these eggs. Trying to get up into the 12 o'clock to prevent this base from going down easily. I think this has not been scouted yet by our Protoss. So he's not going to know about this for a little while. We're going to bring the Archon up. Archons kill eggs very, very quickly. Putting up this overlord. Look at how quick that egg goes down. Almost as good as a couple of DTs, actually. Not quite as good as two storms, though. Ling's going to work on this. Nearly there. Nearly there. We've got a pylon coming up. We don't have any cannons yet. But Zealots come out and push everything away. So he is going to have to retreat with these Lings. And stay in a defensive position to... Sunken Colony is not going to be enough to defeat this number of Zealots. You have to pair this with the Lings in order to stay safe. Hydras are popping out here. Getting a big wave of Overlords as well. So prepping for the mass units that are going to be popping out here soon. Diving on top of these Zealots. They do have that plus one. And there's no armor on these Lings. So 
They rip through them pretty quickly, but now we've got high just coming up. They're going to surround and try to kill as many of these zealots as they possibly can. Really good micro here from Hero. Diving on top of those. Now he can come up here to the north. Try to kill this egg and maybe get through into this uh, this base here. A couple of Scourge warding away these Corsairs, but they will be picked off. Overlord's having to retreat now. Oh, this assimilator is just barely going to go down, it looks like. Archon going for it. If he can kill the... Oh, oh, oh. He's going to target the Archon. Archon can't be losing that. Going after the egg now. Egg does take a, quite a long time to kill. Even with this number of Hydra. More Corsairs coming in. Scourge are going to connect. Not bad. What if you Scourge do connect there? A couple of Corsairs go down. And the Hydras are going to clean up some of these Corsairs as well. Egg is getting very low. Just 30 HP on that. But the Assimilator is going to go down now. 129 health. He could try to dive through here, but Templar have arrived. Not going to be the right choice. So he backs away. Going to allow the Protoss to take a third here. While actually Hero already on four bases. He is completely fine. He's got upgrades pumping. All tri triple upgrades going. More drones pumping out. Going up to above 60 here. Up to 64. Now going to go up to 67. So... A huge wave of drones popping out. So many Hydras coming forth as well. Um, this is going to be a tough game for the Protoss, man. This is this is Hero on his macro stride right now. Look at this. Triple. Got two here. Another two here. We could even add on more hatches, actually. But there's just going to be so much money flowing right now for uh, Hero. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to start to kill some of these eggs. Wants to open up a defensive path for this base here. Hydras. They don't know about these zealots that are chilling right here in front. But now going to spread out the overlords everywhere. It's a little dangerous to spread the overlords like this right now. Unless, where are the Corsairs? Where's the Corsair? Do we lose every Corsair? No, there they are. <laughs> okay, four Corsairs are in the main base so you know it's good to spread your overlords but if you are fighting you know um in the middle of the map or something you're mi microing like crazy and the corsairs are just patrolling around the map killing all your overlords it can be very very painful it's good to keep them in a central location to defend but it's also good to have vision all over the map it's very important to have that vision so you know spreading out the overlords everywhere Hero is going to be uh, aware of any drops that come through. He's going to be aware of everything that's going on on this map. Now coming forward, the Protoss going to try and take the center. A lot of Hydras here, though. And what we don't see on the screen right now is the masses of Hydras and Lings that are popping out at this moment. We got Adrenal Glands coming up as well. We don't want to engage just yet. This is not the right time to engage for... Hero, but we may be forced to engage anyway because our upgrades are just about done. We're almost at that uh, 2 1 1 with uh, two missile attacks, one melee attack, and one armor. That's a big breakpoint. That's going to give us so much more uh, power in these fights. It's going to come forward. The upgrades are just about done here. We're getting very, very close. This is two armor on this Protoss army. So if we get that extra upgrade, it's going to make such a big difference. Baiting out a lot of storms here. The uh, Lings are doing a lot of damage on the front units as they retreat as well. They're going to dive on top of some of these Templar, picking them off. Backing away these Hydras here. Going to take a full zoomed out perspective as he slowly micros, micros backwards against the storms. And I got to say, that was beautiful to behold. Hero just doing an amazing job of rallying these units forward, taking the engagement, and backing away every time there's a storm. Look at that beautiful storm dodge there as well. Going to come forward with another storm here. Let's see how he dodges. Looks like Hero back at home. Mike macroing right now. Finally gets back to the micro here on the front line. Will back away with these Hydras. And it appears that... The Protoss player has taken the advantage, but we've got so many units popping out at both locations. They're going to come from either angle here from the left and the right. 
and really start to bombard this kind of weakened Protoss army. We don't have any Templar in here anymore, so the masses of units are really going to be able to take big fights here. During all of this fighting, we see upper left is starting to be taken by the Protoss player. So sending some units up there, but we've already got four cannons. This is kind of the thing that annoys me the most about Protoss in this matchup, is that even though they're doing all of this fighting, you drop four cannons at a location and boom, you've got a def well defended fresh base. Whereas there's no way that you can set up, you know, sunkins and lurkers. Lurkers and sunkins and spores are great defensively. Uh, but they're, you know, they're not very good until they're all set up. But you just drop four cannons here. You can do it in the middle of a fight, no problem. And then boom, you've got uh, a well defended base uh, that, you know, you're not you're not going to be able to break through this not without a huge amount of units uh pouring down here and especially not if there's some storms now coming up we've got some lurkers running up under darks or uh, running up under storm getting completely wrecked Ooh, that was not a very good trade there for uh hero he's actually clumping up his lurkers pretty heavily we're gonna get some big storms on these it looks like no, actually, no more storm energy on this. So the lurkers hold their own against all of the zealots and clean up a lot of them. But zealot reinforcements are going to come through. And these lurkers are going to end up all falling here. Getting some pretty good shots with the lurker. But it will be picked off. And hero driven back once again. So we're in danger of actually splitting the map in half now. The Protoss player doing a great job of reinforcing constantly here. And taking the space at the same time. It's a delicate balance, but he's doing a good job of it. As much as it uh, pains me to say. We've got more Hydras popping out here. Just endless rallies from all these hatches. He's finally adding on more hatches because we've been uh, kind of outmining our production here. With extra minerals and gas in the bank throughout this game. So he needs more hatches. He's got even two more hatches down here. He needs to rally them forward though. More lurkers popping out as well this base in the center left has been taken he's gonna try and kill these assimilators actually in this case you just want to kill one assimilator and kill the eggs because oh he's actually gonna kill both assimilators I'm a little bit surprised about that um, without killing these then the Protoss can actually go through here and attack this base that's not good so uh, maybe I'll send this Ling up here and just kill the assimilators that would be preferable Corsairs are moving around the map, trying to kill some overlords. Looks like they might have cleaned out the right-hand side here during some of that earlier battling back and forth. But, uh, yeah, some lings are going to come up here now. Kill off these assimilators, just make this into an island. Uh, a little bit easier to defend. Quite a few lings going down here in the center. But completely disposable at this point. Ooh, nice plague there. First plague of the game goes down on some cannons here at the front. Would like to get that on this mass of zealots. Big clumps of zealots here in the middle. If you get a plague on that, it makes it so much easier to break. Protoss not going to be able to... Oh, here comes a big plague. Very, very nice. Huge plague on a ton of those zealots. Blanketing storms here on while retreating, but Hero's going to jump on top of this, kill off as many Templar as he can, as quickly as he can. Looks like this uh, Defiler here just headbutting into the army still managed to survive somehow. I don't know how that 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 actually worked out, but staying alive for now. Got some lurkers here. We've got some lings coming from the flank as well. Lurkers going to be morphed here right in the face, but. Not a good idea. He's going to have to back away. Another big plague here in the middle of these Zealots. Zealots really not going to have um, too much HP for when they have to battle with Lurkers in the future. A lot of Lurkers down here. I want to see a Hero actually pull these Lurkers out and move into a, a more forward position. Don't allow this uh, base to go down so freely because if the Protoss gets half the map, it's going to be a very hard time. It's going to be really really ridiculous to try and make this one work 81 drones what are we doing that's so many drones we need to start transferring from our main and natural if we've got that many drones 
Big storms here. A lot of lurkers coming forward. He did move his lurkers up from that uh, bottom center. So bringing everything to bear here. Now this is the real move. This is the big, big brain move is you get all your lurkers here and then you can assault the top left. You want to create a location that's very difficult to break through and then force the Protoss player to try and break through it. Now he's going to get another great plague here. Lurkers are a bit too stacked. I want to see him spread these out a little bit. Spread out the lurkers here and then rally units up to attack into this base. Now he's going to get a dark swarm here. Uh, there's definitely enough storm to deal with this, but um, once all the storms are gone, he can move forward once again, start to pick off some of these Templars, start to pick off some of these workers um, or some of these uh, cannons. Looks like an Archon made its way down here. I don't know where that came from, but it did make its way down. It's going to try and kill this hatchery unfortunately it may end up going down as well getting in between the rallies here so not allowing a uh, hero to reinforce that position it's a good response by our protoss player he's really out on a lot of of um archons here too I'm gonna try and break through here now this is so many lurkers oh my god that is a ton of a lurker spines, but he somehow manages to break through. Look at those upgrades as well. Plus three is done, plus two armor is done, plus three, three is about to be finished for these other units. Clearing out the top though, he gets this base. He manages to save it. Tons more rallied units coming up here. Hero, so many units at this point, it's almost impossible to control them all. Uh, uh, accurately and now it's gonna send drones I feel like he's trying to send drones over here but they're not gonna make it we need to send them down to the bottom left first yeah they're all gonna dance over here which really really sucks they may end up all getting picked off as well oh, they're gonna go up and around no all the drones are gonna be sacked okay actually they're turning around I thought they were gonna go up and around this way uh, they actually can't can only go through this way all the drones are gonna die here that's uh, that's unfortunate, but we've still got a lot. Still got a lot of drones, so not the biggest deal in the world. And the army of uh, the Protoss has been kept relatively small throughout all this. They've done a very good job of keeping this army small. A lot of lurkers are going to go down here to some of these storms, but you know what? We'll take that. That was like three storms for a couple of lurkers um, that were in eggs. And we're coming through the middle here. We're going to catch some of these uh, Templar, maybe pick off a couple of them. Uh, lurkers are going to come forward. They're going to burrow right in the face. Oh, God, that's a huge storm. But I think he clears this. I think he clears this army. Uh, Hero is going to win this fight. Uh, more reinforcements coming up here, but the army critically has been reduced by a lot. There's almost no army supply left for our Protoss. He's sending out everything as it spawns and sending it straight across the map. And it's just being cleaned up over and over again. So he's not hitting that critical mass of army where it's so hard to engage with the um, with the Zerg army. But in, the, in these cases, like right now, small groups of Lynx, small groups of Hydras are going to be so, so strong. He's going to get a Reaver here too. Reavers have been crawling all the way across the map. He's going to dive right on top of that. Maybe get this other Reaver. Oh, he gets it. Big, big move there. Just kind of forgetting about this shuttle, I guess. Uh, is the Protoss player. More Defilers coming out here. More Hydras as well. Going to head up towards that top left. Still a lot of money in the bank, but we need to get a Minerals check here soon because I think they're both running low. Getting pushed back. The Defilers without enough energy to plague. Not going to be very useful here. Lings and Hydras moving forward. Nice uh, storm there, but these scrappy situations... The Hydras are going to do very, very well. Going to get a Plague on a bunch of these Zealots. Very nicely done. No Lurkers in this position, but you can't really break through here. We've got so many Rallies coming out. So many Lings. So many Hydras uh, moving forward here. Another Lurker uh, clump here is going to get stormed out. A bunch of Lurkers are going to go down here in their eggs. That's a big waste of resources for hero and just kind of crazy the infinite rallies here from this protoss he's trying so hard to break through but he's actually done a great job of keeping the 
Zerg player back. Now getting in here to the center right as well with some DTs. He's going to kill this hatchery on the center right and maybe take it for himself. If he can get that base in the center right and hold half the map, he should be able to win in the late game. This Archon with 29 kills. Good God. That is crazy. Looks like he's going to lose this hatchery, but bringing up some units here, some reinforcements to push this back, get rid of these DTs, maybe retake this base. Yeah, he's sending a bunch of workers here to start uh, mining from this location. He probably should kill off these uh, assimilators up here as well. We finally established a position here down at the bottom left with some reavers to try and push forward. Uh, but Protoss, I mean, you got to be careful here moving forward against this. We've got a beautiful position here from Hero, but he's not re-rallied his units. A lot of them are just running forward and dying. Can our Protoss actually break through here? Is it really going to matter? I mean, all the, the uh, hatcheries are here, but... There's certainly not much minerals left over. We had an Ultralisk Cavern, but no Ultralisk have been made this game. He's going to try and get through, but look at this. An egg. So unfortunate that egg uh, is preventing all of these units from getting through. Where are they going? It's like he's totally forgot about this egg here. And we've got more units here in the middle. Oh, a lot of Templar throwing down their storms. I think that the Protoss might be able to secure this game now. He's got the Reavers down here in the bottom. Look at how many hatcheries this is. It's ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. There's so many hatches over in this position. He's going to come down, try to kill off these Reavers. He may be able to get the Reavers getting right on top of them. He gets one of them. He's going to get the other one. And that helps out a lot with all of these Zealots or all these Lings popping out. They're going to be able to surround and kill a ton of these Zealots. He may actually be able to hold this attack just with the pure lings that are popping out right now. A lot of drones have gone down, but critically, this base is now mining, although it doesn't have an actual hatchery here. It's long-distance mining, but it's something to his name, whereas Protoss is getting very close to mining out here. Actually, still okay up at this top left. We're still okay here as well. Uh, this is about to mine out, but it's fine. We're still... Mining on both sides. We can still fight a lot of hatches have gone down, but hey, we've still got one two three four Five and a six hatch going up and a seventh hatch over here at the center left. So plenty of hatches to work with In these low money situations is fine. Oh He taps out No hero taps out. He GG's Why man are we serious? Oh, that's so unfortunate I really thought that we were going to get that super, super late game. He had the base. Let's take a look at what was the final straw here. Why did he decide to leave the game? Oh, well, here it is. The final moments of the game. He had this base coming up. Some zealots made their way over here, but this is blocked off. He taps out. Huh. I am not sure. I'm not sure what triggered the tap out here. We've still got a decent supply for Protoss. Can't see it. what's going on here at the base, unfortunately. But he had drones that were going to be mining here. I think he could have still held on. He's got a huge gas bank. Could have made a ton of lurkers. Oh, well. Hero decides to tap out. Maybe a bit too cumbersome, a bit too annoying to try and bring this one back. So he's going to leave this game. Of course, we were having Reavers popping out. Reavers are the great counter to Lurkers. And there's still, you know, money coming in for the Protoss. So he can continue to macro here for quite a bit more time. I think Hero, maybe he could have stayed in there. But hey, it is what it is. He taps out and our Protoss player is victorious. You know, after watching this game, I feel like this could be like a best, maybe a, possibly a Bisu. I don't know. The Corsair play wasn't that great, but the the rallying forward constantly across the map and just hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting. The units just kept pouring over and continuously bashing up against the Zerg. And he did a great job of just rallying over and over again. So definitely a well-deserved win. I thought for sure Hero was going to take that. Uh, once he got these bases all set up and he had that insane macro engine behind him. But this 
anonymous Protoss, whoever he is, is an absolute beast. Able to pressure down one of the greatest macro Zerg players that we have in this latter game. So that's it, guys. Just the single game here from Hero. We don't have a lot of replays from him. They are few and far between, but they are cherished. And we're looking forward to seeing more from him in this upcoming ASL. This has been your daily dose of Brood War, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.